Hello, and today I'm going to show you how you can reset your Samsung laptop 18 digit BIOS password. First of all, start your laptop. And uh, you can enter your password wrong here three times, or you can just press enter button three times. It's the same thing. I'm just uh, going longer way this for video at least. Okay, there we go. There's a system disabled 18 digit code, which you would have to remember or write it down or leave your laptop open. Okay, now go to your desktop or any other device you have there, open your internet browser and type in piosbug.com. Okay, go to Samsung BIOS Unlock and choose your 18 digit unlock and uh, there we go type in your 18 digits here and use all caps and similar tutorial actually should work for 16 digit codes as well haven't tested yet but uh, that tutorial is now only for 18 digits okay press send request Okay, that should take a few more seconds and you will have your BIOS password here. Okay, you can guess what that's going to be. Okay, that's my BIOS password now. To be honest, I set that myself, so just for tutorial. Now, all you do is <laughs> remember that, and it should be easy enough to remember. Or write it down, whatever suits you. Go back to your laptop, press power button, and immediately start pressing F2 after you press the power button. Okay, enter your password here. Okay, you see, it didn't work for me in the first go. So try the same password again, it should work. For some reason it didn't work. Okay, there we go. We're in the BIOS now, go to the security tab and press set supervisor password. Type in your password again here. In my case, it was BIOS bug and two other fields, just press enter and okay. And that's pretty much it. Go to exit and exit saving changes, press yes. And there we go, your BIOS password was removed. And you should be in Windows now any second. Only one thing I have to say now, if you don't press F2 immediately after pow pressing power button, on next, on next laptop startup, you're gonna have same issue again. It's gonna ask you the password again. So you actually have to reset that from the BIOS itself. If you don't do that, it, it will ask you BIOS password every time you start your laptop. So it's, uh, you can, of course, you can leave it the way it is. Or I recommend to go to BIOS and just remove your password altogether. It saves you a lot of time and hassle. Okay, I hope this video was helpful for anyone out there. And if you like it, subscribe. There's more like that to come. Bye-bye.